Hello and welcome back to episode number five of the Japan game. Um, load. Yeah, so things weren't going well. Um, the war with China. I probably already screwed up quite a lot. Um, and yeah, so this is a day later in real life, if you like, and. Uh, I'm going to familiarize myself a bit with what's been going on, but I had a sort of plan yesterday. One of the things I'm going to have to do is accept that I'm going to lose too many of these battles here. We're already being pushed back. Actually, we did take this state and that state. Oh, are we being pushed back? Um, that's interesting, I didn't realize that we'd taken two of these states. But are they all... Oh, they're all Chinese, right. So yeah, now what, I go, what I'm going to do is fall back to this line. So I'm going to give my China theater guys uh, the orders to do that. We're going to hunker up here and behind these rivers. And basically, each time they push harder, we're going to have to fall back maybe even all the way into Korea. But the plan is essentially to uh, give ourselves time. The other thing I realized was that I've been really stupid. So, hands up, I admit fully, and I have said this several times now, I'm still getting used to the game. Um, I've been running these resources, right? I've been importing loads of it. Wow, look at this. And I don't need to. It might slow down my actual production if I don't have all the resources. But it's far more important for me now to get these constructions going. So, what we are going to do... I genuinely don't understand why we have so much steel, by the way. Did something finish? That we needed lots of steel for. Oh, maybe it's because we were building these battleships and things. Anyway, I've already ordered this so that these are at the bottom and frankly ships can wait you know they're not important at the moment we need to get this stuff out but we also need to stop hemorrhaging our civilian factories because our trade laws are pretty rubbish and therefore we are basically just going to say Germany we don't want any of your stuff and that's going to give us a deficit we are Importing 32 here. We're exporting one as well. I find that confusing. We can do with 24. Thank you very much. We are importing 8 aluminum. That's for planes. I think I might keep that. Rubber also for planes. But you know what? At the moment, I don't really care. And the same goes for this. So now, when we unpause... We've got, yeah, we've now already got more. So we had seven factories on Tohoku. And now we've got 15 plus one extra. Really bad blunder. Um, it means I have to salvage what I can at the moment. It's not going to be easy. But we're going to try. Um, right. What have I got in the China Theater? <coughs> these Marines. <coughs> <Ooh. coughs> Apologies. Dry throat. Um, these Marines are going to go down here, which I like. The second China army is standing there, and you guys are going to provide the first fallback line. So you're going to stand there, and just give us a bit of backup here, so that these troops can fall back safely. The China infantry, which one? These are my mobile lot. They're losing pretty bad. I'm going to give them this section here, and I'm already going to do it now. I'm not going to try and hope that they manage to do anything and then my first China army um, is going to fall back all along here so one of the things I'm trying to do is to get the Chinese to become a bit overconfident get into my air cover and basically then push back out against them create this front line basically doesn't benefit me at all We've got this airport, but we can't really do anything with it. Even though we're winning that particular battle, it, it's only a matter of time before they flank around and screw us all up. And I want to avoid that. 
so with that said um, I have to assign these guys and the where is the mobile army there there right on pause time let's see what we can do to salvage this mess sometimes you need to know when to retreat which isn't really a shame um we're still importing that oil and that's it okay good well that's got cracking um these marines are they actually able to invade yeah they should be able to I found out, um, again I'm learning all the time, I found out that there's a limit on the total number of marines you can do an invasion with. The other thing I want to do is make sure, yeah they're coming, um, that I have enough of them coming through in the long run so that they can back up the first lot. These are going to deploy on the 6th of July, yeah that should be alright. Actually I might deploy them green but we will see what happens. In terms of the air war, we shouldn't have any issues whatsoever. Oh, that's interesting. East China Sea, and he's losing, because they have focused on there. Right, you lot. I need you. In Kyushu. They're not brilliant fighters. Um, but actually, I think just these, whatever they are. They will do. Um, they should be able to win the South Ch the East China Sea, and it helps the this lot to actually reinforce a bit as well. What are they set to? They shouldn't be set to anything. Oh, those are naval fighters. Um, right. Okay. Just to make sure we keep. Oh, now they're pushing here, are they? We don't have any fighters in the Yellow Sea. Do we worry about that? No. Right, so we should be seeing an organized retreat here. Which is happening. So the Chinese are pushing into here now. We really do need these guys disengaged. Same there. But at least now if they lose they've got somewhere to go back to. I'm still worried about them pushing through in the north. And I'm very annoyed that I didn't realize that the Russians will be coming in. Are they Russians? No, I don't think they are Russians. I think they're this lot. Yes, okay, so that's better. We do have Russians here, as far as I can work out. Those flags are way too small, Paradox, really. I'm playing this on full HD on a 5K iMac, and I can't see which flag is which, because you've... I think they're Soviets, yeah. They're Soviets, so they're right there. So we have a lot of trouble keeping these guys back and I might actually switch up a bit with the Russians as well. So I've got the Russian front, uh, yeah you guys are going to switch up as well, delete that order and create a fallback line, have we got a river here? It's not ideal. We're going to take this river here. And then I want to protect my few victory points. And then we're going to do that. So basically I'm giving China a lot of room to breathe, to run out, give them hope. And then when I feel like it, when I feel like we're strong enough, we're going to be shoving it up the backside. To put it not so politely. I find with Hartsfine, um, I always had this with Hartsfine 3 as well. You get into a sort of zone and you're just playing the game and you know you're not necessarily thinking about your actions all the time. And it helps to really slow down, take a break like I did, you know, yesterday. I, I did play some Hartsfine but just a different uh, different campaign. But you just get a chance that way to step back. Oh no! Are you kidding me? And assess things. 
So this is unexpected. I've given these guys in order to fall back and they're just being run over. That's not what I wanted at all. You're going to have to break them out. I don't want you to fight. Stop fighting. They're going to get encircled with these clowns, aren't they? Um, I didn't actually delete that. Right, now we go back to trying to save the situation. What an almighty mess, eh? They are actually in transport, so that's good. That means that it's just the others that are... Why can I not pick him up? Oh, he is a Chinese guy. Yeah, that makes sense. These colors are a bit daft. Why I'm moaning about everything. You'd think I'm uh, colorblind, but I'm not. I don't think so. got many other afflictions, but I don't think colorblindness is one of them. Right, let's see if they actually can manage to break through here. Come on guys, this needs to go quicker. So next time I use this fallback line method, I'm going to have to make sure to do it in stages. I've been a bit too reckless in my falling back. But at least this should now be covered by... Oh, that's still Eastern China. Um, that's all right. I want you to go to Northern China as well. Right. <laughs> I do like, I've seen people complain that the AI isn't good enough and all that stuff. You've got to admit here that what the AI did in immediately encircling just a small portion uh, and keeping them engaged by fighting them, very clever. You can't argue about the AI there. At least I can't. But these guys are not going anywhere because they're in combat. So I really need to break these out. Oh, this is scary. It's either that or disband the whole lot, which is not appetizing. Um, why can't I just see? Again, paradox, use the interface tip. Oh, there we go. Oh, at least it's good for army experience, eh? That would actually be a big loss if I can't get these guys out. We're going to have to push here. I made this very difficult for myself because now I'm attacking over a river. And I don't see how I can get these out. I think I've gone and goofed up. Big style. You go there and let these guys out. Yes, yeah, so I was hopeful I had turned things around and episode 5 would be... Uh, a miraculous sort of turnaround. I might have to call this a, a the end of the series really and start again because I've only got a few viewers. It's nothing spectacular so yeah maybe it's a case of cut your losses. On the other hand um, it's not the end of the world if I lose this battle. It's a war that we're in not a battle and uh, by keeping on playing, at least I show you how not to do it. Thank you. I am very happy to advise you by losing. But if Russia now gets plans, yeah, that's not going to go well. It's 14 hours. Right. We're going to sign these guys off. They're a loss. Um... It's a shame, but there's no point in losing more. I also want to check my 
So there's another good reason to fall back even further because we're not getting troops in. Ah, that reminds me, when I looked back at the video, I also remembered why I wanted this. And I really do want this. We'll get that extra factory, but it's so that my supplies can actually uh, get somewhere. Is this already in the auto? Yeah. But this port seems to be limiting my throughput. Um, Local naval base limits to 9 and I need way more because I need at least well, 27 there so 2 isn't really going to help either but at least it makes things a bit easier. Does this mean then uh, that I give that up as well? Well, at least I keep 20% of the manpower this way. That's harsh, that. That's an awful lot of his army gone. Um, we're going to do another structured fallback. This time we're going to do it better. We're going to get the uh, mobile army out. I want to rename you because... It confuses me right so they're assigned there we're going to assign them here now and we're going to look at the um, supply situation then I don't think it'll help I think we need to go all the way back here we're probably going to end up camping behind this and that river at least we've got our airport done, but we lose our naval base. So. Oh no, we don't. Yeah, actually those rivers are where we're going to go. You are now involved with China as well. And we're going to draw you back... Which line is yours? Right, second China army. There's a Japanese plane over there now. Sorry, I'm not talking a lot. Um, I'm really trying my best here to turn this thing around. This already, by the way, um, without being too negative about what I've done, but it proves that if you don't make the right decisions early on, you're going to struggle later on um, because it's 38 already. And this war just now looks like that's the only ground war I'm going to be fighting for a few years. Um, I might start some naval conflicty stuff with the Allies, but it doesn't look great, really. And just another thing, I, I watch uh, Quill18 a lot. He's a great uh, streamer of Paradox games, and um, I recommend his channel. Um, but he was playing Japan and guess what he did puppet China and they accepted and then he could subdue all the warlords and he's now swiping through the whole of Asia basically and here I am fighting a stupid ground war that 
I'm going to lose because I didn't time it right and this, that and the next thing. No, I should be defiant. We are not going to lose. Do, 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 do. At least we're holding them back on this line now, just with the uh, China army. Right, it's time to let them fall back a bit. I um, think I'm going to do that. Yeah. Let's hope these don't get caught out by a push from that lot, which is possible. It's difficult to assess what uh, what sort of fallback you should make. This might be too big again, I don't know. What I do know is that once we're in our own supply zone, so this river and that river, um, we are going to make a stand there. I'm not going to back off from there. That's going to be the front line. I think all these troops are going to stay involved with that. I hope I can get these Tweety Birds back to working on the Russian border. I think the mobile army and the China infantry should be enough to hold this fort, basically. Maybe with some reinforcement every now and then. Um, oh, actually, no, there's no point in sending these Tweety Birds there, is there? Now, what we're going to do with the Tweety Birds is um, we're going to amend their lines so that they can follow that river. And we're going to make them defend this particular line. Um, I think I just keep those here. Yeah. Or that and then Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So these 20 garrisons are going to sit along here. And I'm probably going to have to produce some more garrisons now. The reason to train garrisons is purely that they're very cheap. And if they dig in um, well enough, they still provide some sort of cover. So we're going to train those anyway and deploy them straight away when we get them. So they can sit here, the new 10. The old 20 are going to sit here, uh, yeah, along this river. Then the China infantry is going to hold, actually we're going to put both of those along this line. It's tempting now, I've got 9 in there, 6, that would leave 3. To throw these groups together so they get the best possible general because he's a hero. Oh, those are the marines. Which one is the? Oh, the mobile arm is only six. And you're good, but you're not that good. Right. Um, so this is part of the reorganization as well. We've now got all of them under the best possible general we've got a line here that we can get rid of and then we begin stage two of the withdrawal which is there Why have I got on the same troops? Oh, I deleted the second China army. Um, I forgot about those. You guys are going to reinforce this bit between the river. Yeah, of course. Oh, it's I'm 
so fed up with that. It is stupid. Right. Let's make a slight readjustment then. Four, four. Now we've got that. Thank you. Let's hope these don't get... Actually, they sort of should fall back automatically, shouldn't they? What I should do instead... Again, we're being very fiddly here, but I don't want to lose any more troops than... I need to, so we're going to provide somewhere where these guys can retreat to, basically. Ugh, the stress. The stress, it's enormous. This attrition is killing me now as well. Need to speed this up, but I can't afford to let these guys just hang around, can I? And because they're being attacked, I can't actually disengage. Which, uh, I'm not sure that's how it should be either. And of course, because they're now in transit mode, they haven't got any dug-in value or anything like that, so they're just getting hit harder and harder. Um, to help the supply mode, I'm going to ensure. Oh god, they're already under attack here. This lack of supply is really, really killing me now. Oh, finally. Jeez. Don't you put up a fight. Fall back. I don't want you to fight. Go back. Retreat. Costing me loads. It's loads. Really mucked up here, lads. Really mucked up. Um, didn't I sign this? Oh. Yeah. It helps if you actually put in the order, doesn't it? Just this one bastard. He's actually winning the battle now. I don't want you to win. I want you to fall back. I mean, you're all very brave and all that. And no doubt you're going to be a seasoned soldier soon. But that doesn't help me at all. At least we got one of these in. Still doesn't really help with this. We don't need tension with Russia, so we're not doing that. I'm going to have to get some more industry. Right, I think so far we can conclude I am a very poor Hearts of Iron 4 player, or I've completely underestimated the challenge of Japan. And I think it's the latter. 
Right, that's the uh, timer, so that's me out. Oh, shut up. There we go. Um, right, that was episode 5. I'm going to record episode 6, try and finish this fallback. Um, yeah, what can I say? Uh, I was just saying that I've underestimated the challenge that Japan is. I probably could have done better if I'd paid more attention from the beginning. Made a really big error with the... Uh, not declaring war thing, um, fabricating and then not declaring, I think actually allowed China to be aware that we were going to do something, you know, thinking as the computer, as the AI. And that meant that they piled up all those troops right on my border and I'm reaping the benefits. Well, what's the opposite of benefits? The costs of that now. Not ideal, not ideal at all. Anyway, that's me out. I'm Dr. Klumber. Uh, please reward my failure and like and subscribe if you do like it. If you don't like it, then do let me know. Uh, obviously, I'm still learning. I hope that if you're watching this, you're still learning and can learn from my failures. Thank you. Dr. Klumber out.